guys and welcome back to my channel. For those of you guys that don't know me, my name is Rachel and for those of you that do know me and are coming back to my channel, welcome to the new Rachel. What do you guys think about the new peach hair? Do you like it? I actually planned to do this color a while ago but finally got around to doing it last night so you guys are kind of seeing it in its debut day. I did it last night and I've actually been meaning to do it for the past several weeks but as a lot of you know I've been having some like stomach issues and I really haven't felt well enough to like color my hair. I've been like sick and dying in bed and it's like not really a priority on your mind when you're feeling so horrible to um, dye your hair a fun color. So I finally was feeling up to dyeing my hair last night and so like I mentioned today was the day that I debuted it and I was like you know what let's film a monthly favorites video. It's really like a half a year favorites video because I haven't done one of these since before I moved and I've been at my new house. I keep going to say apartment but it's not. It's a house now. Um, I keep going to film one and you know I keep pushing it off pushing it off and finally I'm like let me just film one hopefully you guys are excited to see a monthly favorites hopefully it didn't lose interest since I haven't been doing them but um, I always think they're fun to watch and I have a bunch of products here some are super random which is typical Rachel fashion um, other it's actually mostly makeup sometimes I go back and forth it's like all skincare other times it's fashion-y, other times it's more makeup focused. I have quite a bit of makeup here, so I'm just gonna jump into the video. I did wanna start out by showing you my first item, which are these adorable, I'm gonna see if I can get a little closer, adorable little pins, which I got from Laser Kitten. I will link Laser Kitten in the description box below. And they had a sale and like most, for some reason, most of the girly ones that I love and gravitate towards were on sale. So I picked up a bunch of them. I think normally they're really like well priced. I think they're around like $6 each or $5 each and some are upwards of like 12. It really depends on the style. And all of the cute little like makeup ones were $1.99 and I was like, how could I not buy that? They're so cute and I love the own. And um, if you guys are curious about my hair, I didn't film a video on it, but I know I'm going to get questions about it. So I wanted to let you guys know now that it is the shade Sushi from Lime Crime Unicorn Hair Line. And it actually is one of their tints, which means it washes out a lot faster than one of their permanent ones. There is a similar color called I think Neon Peach which is like very similar to the shade but this one is a tint um, that they sent to me and um, I love it. I'm like totally living for it. Next I want to show you something that I'm actually wearing on my eyes today. I got this a while back at the Melt Cosmetics Romantic, Hopeless Romantics launch party and I've been living in these shadows. I'm a huge fan of bright colors, you guys know this. So I finally picked up, this is the packaging by the way, I finally picked up the Radioactive Stack, which I've seen a lot um, of people using. It's definitely not a new one. And while they, I think these are typically like 60 something dollars, which I think is well worth it. All the shadows are so pigmented and blend really nicely. But um, during the um, beauty like debut party that they had, these were on sale for $30. So I was like, now I am getting it. So it has four in the stack. First of all, you have a cute like little mirror. They all click together, magnetic. So the first color is this beautiful green called Zion. Zion. And this, these actually aren't considered eyeshadows. They're pigments because two of them are not like approved for the eyes. I was like, what exactly does that mean? Am I going to go blind? She's like, no, no, no. It just means that some of them, if you get them in your eye, could be like an eye irritant. So she assured me they're not like unsafe for the eyes, but in some people, if you have sensitive eyes, they could cause irritation. So the second one, this is the one of the ones that's considered a pigment is radon. And that's what I'm actually have on, oops, on this eye. 
And then the next one, I actually wore this shadow yesterday. It's called Neon, and it's like a super vibrant yellow. I'm obsessed with I love yellow. It's like one of my favorite colors. And also the last one oops, is Radioactive, which obviously the palette is named off. So I kind of wanted to do something fun and like inspired by my hair. So I wore the Radioactive palette today, but I am obsessed with this. And because I haven't done one of these, I haven't mentioned it, but I am highly obsessed. And while we're talking, I guess, about Melt Cosmetics, I do have two other things from them that are like honorable mentions. So at a recent beauty expo that I went to, I picked up Industrial. This is just a single shadow. And I just wanted to show you guys like how pretty that is. It's definitely like a pewter color, I guess. But their eyeshadows are like, look at that. So pigmented. So it's kind of like a pewter. It looks brown sometimes, it looks silver, but I just wanted to show you that I think I'm actually gonna be filming a look with this soon. I think I'm gonna do like a melt cosmetics look because I have a couple of their liquid lipsticks, which I love the formula. I have a bunch of eyeshadows. And then the other product I wanted to show you guys is this, it's called a blush light. It's actually like a new formula that combines a blush and a highlighter in one. And it's funny because I actually got uh, one that doesn't look like blush at all. There's two that are more like on the side of um, like a highlighter more so than a blusher, but a lot of them are like pink and peach and make for like great blush toppers. Uh, this one's called Shadow Play and it's really pretty. Like when I first saw it, I was like, okay, it just looks white, like I don't get it. But then, let me see if I can put it on and show you guys. It is, first of all, like super pigmented. Like, a little bit goes a long way. And what's really cool about it is that it has like a, almost like a green pull. So I don't wanna go too crazy here, but. That's basically what it looks like. I mean, just like the tiniest bit. And it's crazy, like, I guess not a lot of people can wear this unless you're like pretty fair. Like it might show up too white, but because I'm pretty much a ghost, it looks really good on me. So I tried this there and I was like, okay, I need to get this. I also got this at the Melt Cosmetics Hopeless Romantic launch party. And I think it was on sale for 15. Normally I think they're like 25 or 30. And I am obsessed. It's like my first um, highlighter from them or blush light. And I really love how it looks on the cheek. Super pretty. Um, I bet this would also make an excellent eyeshadow. Next, I just wanna quickly mention two pieces of jewelry. I wear these a lot actually. So the ones I'm wearing on my ears right here are from H&M. I pick these up and then I pick these up at the same time. And everyone asks me when I wear these, they're a little bit crazy and outrageous, but I love them. I think they were both like under $10 and they're so cute. I feel like they really add personality to like any look. And just adorable little little lip earrings, mirrored lips. And I mentioned I got these earrings there as well. And then, who knew that, uh, not Target, I actually do get a lot of my jewelry at Target, but who knew that Walmart carried cute jewelry? So I'm gonna pull these back. They're pretty bright, like they actually match my hair, but I was like, okay, that's gonna be too much. When my hair was just like a platinum blonde and I put these on, everyone was like, oh my God, I love your earrings. And they're from Walmart, $4. They actually have really good jewelry there. Like I will definitely go back and shop there. So wanted to mention those two pieces of jewelry. Next, this is really funny and random, but um, I've been loving taking baths. And um, this is basically a soaking solution. It's Epsom salt, but it's a scented one. This is the coconut oil and you guys, this smells like a tropical vacation. Epsom salt is really good for aches and pains. I've been taking it to kind of help with some of my belly pain. 
just soaking and it's actually been working wonders but um, it's also good for just like post working out if you are sore or like achy or you have the flu an Epsom salt bath is super healing so I wanted to mention this the coconut oil is my new favorite I've tried other ones they have lavender they have eucalyptus they have charcoal they have a bunch but if you love coconut in like tropical scents you have to try this one because it's really good Next, I want to mention one of my new favorite perfumes. This is by the brand Tokyo Milk, and this is number 62. They have like different numbers, and this is Tainted Love, and the notes in this are dark vanilla bean, orchid, white tea, and sandalwood. I can't even describe it. It just smells like the most deep, mysterious forest mixed with like some kind of animalistic wild beast it's super sexy and super dark um, and very mysterious i love wearing this for a date night so i wanted to mention it again this is the tokyo milk in the scent tainted love i love this i think it's around 50 dollars 45 to 50 dollars and it's so good i was like i'm not getting the rollerball i am getting the full size because that smells amazing next i told you guys this was going to be random here it is. Um, this is the Myers Clean Day. They have different seasonal scents. Normally the lavender is my favorite. If you guys have watched, been watching my channel for a while, you know that. But this is a really good scent for like spring and summer, you guys. This is the peony scent. And this one's just the like multi-surface cleaner. What's nice is if you like a scent, they have it like almost for anything. You can get dryer sheets, you can get this is the multi-surface spray that I keep in my bathroom. They have um, dish detergent. They have laundry detergent. Like, if you like, they have soap. If you like it, you can get the scent in almost a variety of different cleaning products and toiletries. So, wanted to mention this one because I've been loving the peony scent. And I've kind of been on, like, that lavender scent for a while, but I had to mix it up because it smells really good. Next... I'm kind of in a funk with foundations. I love my Fancy Beauty, but I kind of like trying new things. And this is a really good drugstore foundation. So this is the Maybelline Superstay. A lot of people when it came out were saying like really good things about it. And I was like, I'm going to try it. And I really, really like the coverage. So it's the end of the day. It's what's on my face now. I get a little greasy by the end of the day, but it does wear for a very long time. I mean... It's 7.42 and this has been on my face since 7 o'clock this morning. So really, really good drugstore option. I think it's about $10. I got mine at CVS, but it's pretty much sold at any drugstore. I know a lot of people like the matte um, Maybelline. I think it's like Fit Me Matte and Poreless or whatever. I've never tried that one, but I've heard that this is better for like greasier combo skin. So if you like that one and you want to try something new, in the same brand, I highly recommend the Superstay. It says up to 24 hour wear, and I think that's pretty accurate. Next, I have a ton of products from Lime Crime, which is no surprise, because Lime Crime is my favorite makeup brand. So I wanna mention a couple of them, just honorable mentions. I don't wanna talk too much about the new plushies, because I'm actually gonna be doing a swatching video for those of you guys they are asking, it's coming this weekend. But these three get honorable mentions. The first one, orange juice, I'm actually wearing on my lips with another product over it, also by Lime Prime, which I'll share with you guys in a second. I love this one and it like is totally gonna be my summer color because it matches my new hair. Um, the second one that I'm obsessed with, it's probably my favorite of the new six that they released, is called Violet. And it's like the perfect These are a really sheer formula, so don't get turned off by the swatch. But it's a really, really like perfect violet. It's <laughs> really the only way I can describe it. It's basically the color, the name is the perfect name for it because it literally is the perfect violet shade. And then the last one that I have to mention is Dragon Fruit, which is just a tad more pink and vibrant and I'm obsessed with dragon fruit as well. I probably have been wearing dragon fruit 
and violet the most. These are like the colors that I gravitate towards, the pinks and purpley pinks. But um, I did want to mention those three, and again, a swatching video will be coming this weekend. Next up, also by Lime Crime, the wet cherry glosses have been owning my life. I feel like a glossy lip is so perfect for summer, especially on days where you go a little lighter with the makeup. These just look so nice and effortless on the lips. This formula is bomb. I have nothing bad to say about it. It smells delicious. It's super, super like hydrating and the most non-sticky formula I've ever used. I'm just gonna mention a couple of my favorites. Uh, the first one I'm actually wearing over Orange Juice Plushie um, is the shade Naked Cherry. It's like the most beautiful nude. And some of these are more sheer and some are more opaque. You'll be able to see here that like this has more color in it. So I just put this over the orange juice just to give my lips a little sheen and I just love, love, love these. So Naked Cherry, also Cherry Pie, another one of my favorites. It's like the most beautiful, like reddish pink shade is the best way to describe it. And then the last one is one of the sparkly ones, like iridescent ones, and this one's in Juicy Cherry. And I wear this a lot too. I love this as a topper, but it looks beautiful on its own. Especially the sun picks up the little iridescent sparkles and your lips are like literally glowing. It's gorgeous. Um, also by Lemon Prime, this is the last product I'm going to mention by them. I never really got a chance to talk about this. I did a review and I've used it several times, but if you are new to makeup and you love warm tones, this is like the only palette that like I would recommend. <laughs> It's so pretty, like all of the colors, like all of the colors are gorgeous. There's none that really I would say like, oh, it doesn't swatch. Like they all are really pigmented. I'll just show you a couple of my faves. Like this one is Inspire. Another one that I love, which is like a hot coral is Flora. Um, Passion is like the most like beautiful magenta color color um, Botticelli like it looks like it's gonna be super dark on my hand but it actually like comes out really purple almost like an eggplant let's see I'll show you guys one more um, burnt gold is like the perfect grungy orangey brown so that's just to show you guys like the pigmentation it's so pretty I think this palette is around 50 something dollars or 64 dollars so worth it Love this palette. I can't say enough good things about it. I use it all of the time. It's one of my favorite, favorite, favorite palettes of all time, especially because these are like all of my colors. It's like Rachel right here. <laughs> um, okay, last couple of products. Now that I only have one hand, let's see if we could do this. A candle from Bath & Body Works. Super delicious smelling. This is Fiji White Sands and it's Fresh cut sugarcane, white nectarine, and sandalwood. Everything I love has sandalwood in it. So it's definitely like peachy smelling, like it's like sugary or vanilla mixed with like some kind of like peachy scent, which I guess is the white nectarine. But then there's like a mysterious edge to it, which is the dark like sandalwood. It smells amazing. This is what I'm burning in my room right now, so I wanted to mention it. I'm like really tiring myself out with this one. It's taking a lot out of me. Also wanted to mention this. So many people ask me if I hand draw my stars and I don't. They're stamps that you can buy online. Many companies make them including Milk Makeup. But this one I got in just like a beauty swag bag. It's by the brand Beauty Mark. And it is the Star Mark Beauty Stamp for face and body. You can get these on Wish too for like a dollar or two. I don't know what kind of ink that they use. I don't know if there's different levels of ink or if you want to put anything from Wish on your face, but I do love, love, love this and I use it all the time. Sometimes I just do a single star, sometimes I do a couple and become a Valfrey girl. Other times I'll just do like one or two on the side or three going up the side of the eye. I just think it adds a lot of personality to your look, so I wanted to mention it. A lot of people ask me about, about it. Another product I've been loving for my brows is the Benefit Give Me Brow. You guys want to see a brow tutorial? I think I stink 
eyebrows personally, but if you guys want to know what I've been using because I've been using a couple different products and just let me know but I really like this for volumizing my brows okay and then last but not least I have a very sparkly eyeshadow from Stila Cosmetics I am obsessed with this formula I actually went in for the Urban Decay liner sparkle liners and they're always sold out of the one that I want so I wound up being redirected to this and I'm so happy I found it because it's absolutely beautiful I've worn it, it basically looks good for literally any holiday or like special occasion. Show you what it looks like. So there's a bunch of different colors. I got the one with like gold and silver flecks in it. And it's so pretty, I am obsessed with it. I know there's more product in here, but it's being a little difficult to get out right now. It's just so pretty. I feel like it instantly glamifies like any look. And I'm trying to give you guys a good swatch of it, but it's been laying in my drawer for a while, so it's like all of the product is like on one side. I don't know if you guys can see this, but it's super glittery. But that's what it looks like. It's got iridescent gold and silver glitters. I think this is $21, and like I mentioned, the Diamond Dust is my favorite, but literally any of those colors will do. They're all beautiful. And the last product I wanted to mention, which I almost forgot to, is this adorable little beret. It's kind of got like a faux leather band, and the rest of it is wool. It's so cute. Every time I wear this beret, I get so many questions on um, which brand it is. It is the brand... Belfry, I love them so much. I have like a bunch of their tank tops and the berets are really good quality. They're a little on the pricier side, I would say, for a beret. I think this one was 34 and that was like during a promo. I used a promo code. So that is it, you guys. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and you want to see a comeback of my monthly favorites. I'm sorry it took so long to get this up, but hopefully I shared some really great new makeup and cleaning products with you. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing for regular content. And if you're an OG, thanks for stopping by. Please say hello in the comments. Let me know if you guys have any questions. I will link everything I mentioned below, but if you have any additional questions, as always, feel free to reach me either here in the comments below or in any of my socials. Thank you guys so much. I love you, and I'll see you guys all in my next video. Oh, and let me know what you guys think of the peach hair. Bye.